So I'm going on a long plane flight tonight and this is going to be a video on how I'm trying to biohack my trip. Obviously traveling is very stressful on your body so these are just going to be some ways that I'm trying to uh, limit the effect that it has on my health. Um, and I'm first going to start with what I'm going to meal prep for the plane because I don't want to eat the plane food or the food at the airport. So I've come up with some really simple meals that will be able to hopefully last during the 24 hours. Um, you know, obviously not in the fridge or anything. So the first meal is going to be grass-fed beef mince with some rice that's cooking right now, um, coconut aminos and avocado. Now, I made this one in my last video as well and it was actually really good, so I think it will be um, a good meal to bring. I'm just gonna fit these all into small Chinese containers. And the other one I don't really make ever, but it's just what I thought would be the easiest to transport. So I'm gonna make sushi rolls. So I'm gonna use the rice that's cooking and I am going to mix it with some sushi seasoning. It's got simple ingredients. I probably could have found an organic one, but this is what we had in my family's house. So I just felt like using it. And this is nothing in comparison to the food that I would be eating on the plane anyways. So yeah, it's just rice, vinegar, water, sugar, and salt. Um, and then I'm just going to put it with some tuna and cucumber. And then also Japanese seaweed paper. Okay, and then the last thing is just going to be um, a block of raw cheese with some raw carrot that I'm going to cut up. So I'll just prepare it and then you can see what it looks like a little bit later on in the video. Um, and I'm just hoping at the moment, because I've really kind of maxed out my weight limit, but I'm hoping that they don't count this or they don't weigh this. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, if I just get to that situation, I will just tell them that well, I will make allergies as an excuse, but I'll say that I'm going on a 24 hour trip and I don't eat the food on the plane or in the airport, so I need to bring my own food. So hopefully that will be fine, but we'll see. In all the commotion of saying goodbye to my family and leaving home in time, all the food I prepared actually got left behind. So this is what I actually ate on the plane. Just some grass-fed beef jerky and a beef bar. Landed in Qatar at 6 a.m. So for breakfast, I got a Turkish coffee and shikshuka.
So I've officially arrived in the south of France. Um, the airplane trip went quite well considering all the scans and sitting on a plane for a long time. Just the typical airport stuff that you have to do. Um, it did go a little bit differently to planned as for the meals that I prepared and then what I ended up actually eating. Honestly, it worked out just fine. I wasn't necessarily hungry while I was traveling. So just the beef jerky and then the shushuka that I had when I was in Qatar was fine for me. Um, and I think honestly, I already had really maxed out my carry on limit. So I was nervous about trying to get through with, you know, three meals um, because I felt as though even if I had talked to them and said, you know, I'm not eating the airplane food, they might have just said, well, you're you're way over the bag limit now. So um, it just worked out just fine. And so far, I'm really enjoying it here. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment to let me know your thoughts and subscribe to follow along with all my future videos.